Ah, yes. The modern construction site. These are hard-working men who depend on the equipment and tools around them to get the job done. Some of these tools you may be familiar with, others not. But learning to use one of these tools properly can distinguish a green soldier like you from an experienced combat veteran. Today, we see our young fighting men preparing their equipment for the front line. They have all the armament they need to take the fight to the enemy. Rifles, pen grenades, food and water to keep the men sustained and healthy while in the field. One day, you'll be going to the front line, so take a lesson from this chap. What you could learn could save your keister in more ways than one. As we examine this soldier's equipment, you may have noticed he carries a small shovel. Now, you may think you know what this is used for, but you're wrong. Its primary purpose is not for digging foxholes. It's for sanitation. The shovel, or entrenching tool as we soldiers call it, can be a soldier's best friend when he needs to find a spot to lighten his load. But first, there are important considerations the soldier must take into account before he finds sweet relief. First, he must select a suitable location, ideally away from his buddies, but not too far that he may become captured by the enemy. Remember to take your rifle with you. You'll want that within arm's reach, as you'll be in quite a vulnerable position. Try to find something with decent cover and concealment. Your uncamouflaged backside can be seen from a long way off. Now, dig a hole. You must always dig a hole. No surface mines here. You might be conducting combat maneuvers through this very spot, and that's not fair to you or your pals. The hole should be deep enough to cover your deposit with about six to eight inches of dirt above it. There are several techniques a soldier can use depending on his surroundings and the dietary ordinance he carries. Demonstrated first is the basic deep squat. This universal method is appropriate in all conditions and is especially useful in keeping a low profile. This also minimizes any backblast should the soldier's ordnance be explosive in nature. Demonstrated next is a technique commonly referred to as the fast rope. This soldier has dug his hole close to a young sapling. This allows him to grab on and lean back as if repelling from a helicopter, thusly allowing him to comfortably release a rope of his own. That leaves us with the most comfortable method of them all. Utilizing the entrenching tool itself as a chair, as demonstrated here, this technique provides the most luxurious experience outside of an indoor toilet. 